the end of third? Yeah, I thought we were about business the entire game. Um, I thought uh, our conditioning uh, hit us. Our guys played uh, a lot of minutes in that first half, and I thought both teams were fatigued. But uh, I thought the second half we we came out and we continued uh, what we talked about establishing our defense. Offensively, we had really good ball movement. I thought we uh, passed up some shots, which is for me is a good thing because I thought we passed up shots to get our teammates a better shot. And when you play in a rhythm like that and you play uh, together like that uh, with uh, the guys we have on this roster, it'll be tough to defend us. You know, I thought we play selfless basketball tonight. Um, I know you were talking a little bit about obviously before the game that you really wanted guys to pick and choose their shots, move the ball to be able to do that. You just talked a little bit about it, but I want to talk about the defensive side um, as well. Just what did you see from, from your defense that second half? Um, and, and what do you want to still work on? Just being solid, you know, uh, establishing our defense, the uh, presence up on the ball, controlling the ball. I, th I thought we did a little better job uh, second half of controlling the basketball uh, at the half. They had 26 points in the paint. And we gave up 54 points in the paint our last game, you know, so that was an area we wanted to do a better job, uh, you know, challenging the catch, the dribble, but squaring our shoulders and keeping the ball in front of us. Uh, they were able to get downhill uh, some in the game, but we, we tightened up the second half and was able to uh, keep them uh, in front of us. I know it's one play, but when John has a dunk like that in the moment, do you kind of fully appreciate the athleticism or is it just like you know move on to the next play <laughs> yeah i'm amazed too you know i play with a guy like that you know that uh plays uh way way above the rim named sean kemp you know to so to see uh those guys uh their ability to uh you know first play above the rim like that, uh, you know, catch lobs and uh, finish in traffic. Uh, you know, that's that's a special that's a special talent and, and a gift. And, uh, you know, they make those uh, passers look good, you know, because some of these passes that our guys are throwing, uh, it's like, uh, who are you throwing it to? And, and all of a sudden, John just comes out of nowhere and catches, uh, you know, that, that lob. So it's, it's, it's been an effective play, you know, for these guys, you know, way before I even got here and, um, you know, you know, John just executed well, uh, with the finish. What'd you see from Kevin, uh, Preston to duty as a starter? You know, we did this last year, uh, when we had injuries, uh, placing Kevin in that starting lineup at the two or the three position. I'm just comfortable with him uh, because he can play with the ball. He can play off the ball. You know, he plays the game the right way. Um, and, you know, we had balance uh, again in that starting lineup. Uh, with him in that lineup, both he and Bogey, that combination, uh, the two of them uh, played uh, a lot of minutes last year uh, coming off the bench. And it was a good combination. So when you got shooters out there and guys who can handle the ball uh, with Bogey and Kevin, you can do a lot of things, you know, far as, uh, you know, running your offense. The challenge to Kevin uh, tonight was to, you know, pick up the defense. You know, I, I thought he really uh, showed us a lot last season. And um, you, we're going to need him to do that same thing uh, defensively for us. And I thought he did a solid job tonight. What you like out of Lou, especially, you know, playing his first minutes this year? And it seemed like uh, you went early to play him with Trey. Yeah, yeah. I, would. I, you know, uh, was going to uh, – I was going to give Lou minutes tonight, uh, even if Dre didn't play. I want to uh, get him some minutes uh, at that backup point guard position uh you know he's a he's a veteran uh and i think he settles us down you know he did it last year uh when he played and um i like him being out there you know so uh we will i will you know, at times switch the rotation and go with lou uh you know come as that backup point guard to um to trey and uh, because I just I think he settles us down and uh, 
you know, I like the pace that we play at when he's out there playing. Switching over to Zoom for a question from Jamila Johnson. Hey, Coach. Congrats on the win. Thank um, you. I, want, I wanted to ask you, I know Trey said he wanted to work on his mid-range game a little bit and kind of implement that. How have you uh, viewed his his kind of putting that play into to, the game tonight and as well as previous games? Yeah, well, he has that mid-range game and he has a floater. You know, tonight, uh, I think he turned the ball over once uh, trying to uh, get in the paint and throw the lob. And, you know, basically I told him, they're playing your lob, shoot your floater. Uh, and he made that adjustment and pretty much he was able to just walk into the paint and, and shoot that shot. That's a, a, a very efficient shot for Trey. And uh, I'm okay with him shooting that. You know, analytics uh, will say that that is a bad shot, but I, I don't think that's a bad shot for Trey. I think Lou shoots that shot well. Uh, and it's been really effective. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. That's a wrap. We're good. Um, Trey, I got to ask you just when John is pulling off just monster dunks like that, how much energy, what is it like to watch it? I guess first. Oh, it's, it's crazy. Like, I mean, I, I saw from my angle, I had the craziest angle cause I saw his whole arm back and then, uh, yeah, no, I had the, I had the best angle in the house. So that was crazy. Nate made, uh, Nate kind of said that some of the lobs or some of the passes John has got are not like exactly perfect, but he's able to still finish it. Just mm -hmm. how, how impressive is it to, and how much energy does that kind of pump into the team? Yeah. I mean, that's, I mean, it's big time. That's a skill. Like what he does is that's a skill, like being able to, to, to find the ball in midair, catch the ball and still find a way to get it in the, the rim. That's a skill. And uh, not a lot of people have that. And I mean, we're blessed to have them. And I mean, you can do a lot of other things, but, being able to catch lobs and different angles is, is big for us. How important was that third quarter for you guys? Ten assists in that quarter alone, and it seemed like that was when y'all kind of started to pull away. Yeah, we, we got up early, too. We got up 13 in the first half, and then they came back and made it a close game before halftime. And then uh, we got up to 13 again, and we, we wanted to make another push and not let them get back into the game. And I think they made one more run, but at that point, I mean, we kind of put – put our foot on their necks and kind of made them a little bit more tired and uh, they're missing some guys at night. So it would, uh, it was good for that for us. Trey, what do you think leads to uh, like a, a slow start? Like you saw tonight. Uh, slow start for who? You think we had a slow start? Well, it was it was a lot closer than it ended up finishing. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, I think that's how all NBA games are going to be. That's that's just how the league is. Everybody's good. Uh, everybody's in the league for a reason. So uh, it's it's hard to really blow out a team, any team, no matter who who it is. So um, yeah, it's just this is how it is. It's, it takes some time to to really get a lead and keep it. This kind of dovetails a little bit with Cyrus' question, but what do you think about some of the passes, the lob passes that your teammates are throwing? Like Sharif had that one in the preseason. Tonight it was Cam and Kevin. Do you see yeah. him in practice and, and think, well, that that's pretty good? Do you have to ever, like, give pointers, or do you think that they're pretty much on point? Yeah, no. Nah, I mean, I, I'm sure at this point everybody's seen John Collins fly, so uh, I don't think I, I don't have to give anybody pointers about how to throw it to him. Uh, it's – it's crazy. Sometimes like, you just you throw it in the air and you know you can just trust John. You can trust him that he's going to go get it. And uh, like I said, that's a skill that, a skill that he has. I know that um, on that topic of passing, I know that was one of the biggest things that Nate Miller said. He really wanted you guys to, you know, get those passes up and, and, mm -hmm. and choose your shots, not necessarily just dribble shoot. Um, I look at the third quarter, 10 assists on 14 made field goals. Just what did you think about your passing even in the third quarter and in the second half? Yeah, uh, we were making, I mean, the right reads. And uh, we were getting in the paint and then finding finding guys and they were making one more assist, uh, one more pass. And I mean, it was just it was just reading what the defense gave us. And uh, they were they were very aggressive. And um, so really, just we just made plays, made the right, right reads tonight. So it was good.
Monday night, the crowd was rocking on a Monday night. I mean, what do you feel about playing here at home? And there's not many home games in the next little stretch here. Yeah, no, nah, for sure. Uh, it's, it's always great playing here. So we got to, like, like, Nate's, like Nate's been preaching and we've all been talking. We, we, we want to make this place a tough place to play. So uh, we got to win, win at home and we're about to go on the road for a couple of games. And so hopefully uh, we bring that, that same energy we had tonight and, and carry it over. Hey, Trey, it's only three games into the season, but one thing, switching gears with the Braves, and I saw you out there um, last week, you and John and another teammate, um, Freddie Freeman said about changing the narrative and and changing the, the narrative of the city of Atlanta's success yeah. rate in the postseason. What do you – how do you kind of size up what they're doing, but also what you guys are doing, um, even though it's so early in the season? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, sports, we all – I mean, especially here in Atlanta, we got – we're blessed we have something in every, basically everything, with soccer, uh, baseball, football, and then us. Uh, and then you got the Braves, like you got every, we got everything. So we got uh, opportunities to, to make the city proud. And I think the Braves are doing a great job of, of doing that and trying to uh, win a World Series. And we're trying to do our thing. And um, Falcons are obviously going to have to do some rebuilding, but they're, they're going to bounce back next year. And uh, I think this is just, this is, a team and this is a, a city with I mean Joseph Martinez with the football I mean the soccer league uh, like we got a lot of guys and a lot of um, really good teams and sports teams in the city that we all want to make the city proud and the city's embraced you just as the leader of this team what's that been like you know to to be the face of the franchise and you know to put your your best foot forward with that? Um, I mean it's an honor I mean I just try to represent um, myself my family and I mean, this this organization the best way I can. So I know I'm I'm representing more than just myself. So I try to I try to walk every step I take and know I'm representing representing a lot more than myself. So do you have a prediction for the World Series? Ooh, I mean, I don't know. It's gonna be it's gonna be close. I mean, I, the, both teams are good. I know we're gonna pull it out. So I don't know. I'm I'm gonna definitely be at a couple of games, at least one. Switching to a Zoom question from Edwin Powell. Trey, this team tonight was without Kay Cunningham and Jeremy Grant. This probably will look a little bit different when you play them uh, again. Uh, just curious on what are your thoughts on what have you seen out of the Cunning Cunningham kid before? Uh, yeah, I watched a couple of games in uh, in college. He had probably his best game in college against us uh, in Norman. So I got to see that game. He's, he's talented. He can play. Uh, so, yeah, they're going to be – I mean, better, obviously, when he gets back and um, he's going to be a, a big piece of the franchise moving forward. So they got a good one. Next question from Cassidy Hubberth. Hi, Trey. Um, you know, just kind of picking off, piggybacking off of some of the um, other questions, you know, you're established um, as, you know, one of the faces of the city of Atlanta. Obviously, those fans there um, coming off of a, a, the playoff run, have established beliefs that you're you're a contender. How do you feel going into this season as an established superstar um, in 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 the league? Um, I mean, I to be honest, I don't really like. I mean, uh, feel like like that. Like I just, I never get caught up in in what other people think. Um, I'm I don't know if he's going to answer your question, but I just I'm just focused on winning. Like I just uh, came into this season. Um, trying to be mentally ready to, to take on any challenge. I know guys are definitely going to be more prepared for us and um, wanting to come at us a little bit harder, and we're not going to sneak up on anybody this year. So I, I definitely know that. But uh, I think it, it, just, it just makes us have to be better. It makes me have to be better, uh, just knowing everybody's going to give us their best shot and uh, not, not take it easy on us. So uh, I just think it just makes us better. Final question from Jamila Johnson. Hey, Trey, congrats on the win. Um, we saw you go behind the back to uh, bogey in the, the corner for the three, and then he kind of returned the favor and went behind the back to you. Do you guys ever go back and forth in practice with uh, passes like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We uh, yeah, we like to have a lot of fun in practice, and I, I throw some crazy passes and off the bad boy to JC and Clint or whatever and behind the backs to them. It's, it's fun whenever you're able to, to do it in a game. And uh, that's why you practice it. You don't practice it for nothing. So, uh, yeah, we some of the stuff we, we do in, in the game, we for sure do in practice. 
I don't know about that left hand. We, we were talking about that left hand not behind the back pass you gave me, but we can work on that. But uh, besides that, it was good. Thank you. That's right. Yes, sir. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, I got my game pad underneath. Oh. Holy New Year, man. Yep. Kevin, now that John's sitting right there, just how much energy does that give you guys when he goes up like that and reaches the ball like that's basically in outer space? I mean, it, uh, it feels like he has one every game now. So it's to us, it's nothing new. Uh, I said it after the game. It feels like every new one is better than the last one he had. So kind of what we come to expect out of him. And then again, for you, um, just wh where did you see, you know, the shift kind of at halftime and in that third quarter for you guys as a team? And then what did you really like, especially about that second half? You know, we came out, we came out pretty well in the second half uh, to start. You know, they made a run and cut it to what was seven or eight. And then I think the second unit made a whole bunch of threes and kind of pushed it to 20. And um, so they did their job tonight. I think this was everybody really played well defensively. We were really good in the second half. Didn't have a great second quarter. But, um, you know, playing the full game, that's kind of something that Coach McMillan's been saying. And we put together a full game tonight. Uh, Kevin, when, when you're throwing an alley-oop pass like that, what's going through your mind, like, when it happens? Like, how do you know where to place the ball? Or does it even matter when you have someone like him who can, you know, reach back and, and catch it at all different angles? I mean, it's like right when he gets behind people, you can just, you can throw it at the rim. And so I saw as we're running, Kelly tripped at like half court. So I knew like right away if I was running that John was going to be behind him and we were good. And, uh, you know, a lot of different people have had, had assists look really good. You just kind of throw it up near the rim and, and he goes and gets it. But really anytime, like I said, if he gets behind somebody, it's usually game over. Uh, John, just what's your mindset on that when you see that kind of pass coming, whatever that pass looks like? Um, I mean, I know we ask you about dunks a lot because you have a lot of dunks, but what's your mindset when you go up for uh, and to go up and get it like that? No, you know, I'm obviously uh, analyzing the ball, right, and how high it is and where it's at um, and where I have to jump. Do I have to jump through or over, you know, around somebody? Um, and, you know, that time I knew Kevin just placed it perfectly to where um, I was in stride to jump and get it. You know, I feel like, you know, Kev's been playing with me long enough to, you know, have that chemistry where he just understands how, when, when to throw it. And, uh, you know, we make the magic happen. Does it help that you have guys like Kevin, guys like Trey, I mean, Cam tonight as well, um, who kind of you have, you've played with for years now. So you have that camaraderie more so to know where to expect it. No, damn right. Um, you know, that, that's what we're building for as a young core. Uh, you know, you don't traditionally get to see that happen and to see that chemistry come to come to fruition as, as it does now. So I'm loving every bit of it. And I'm um, having my guys are unselfish and, uh, you know, keep feeding me lobs like that. So. Appreciate you, my guy. <laughs> is uh, is uh, is first half foul trouble? Is is this sort of the silver lining of that? You bring fresh legs to the fourth quarter. Yeah, uh, if that's how you, <laughs> if that's how we want to tighten it up a little bit and clean it up, we could we could say that. Uh, we definitely gotta just calm down a little bit, um, and you know sometimes let let a couple fouls go. Frustrating my team and myself, uh, just doing silly things. Just gotta cut it out. Oh, I mean, when it when it comes to to getting those lobs and, and dunking, I feel like I'm always energized. You know, the toughest part about being on the bench is mentally you get you know you lose the flow and you just lose the rhythm for the game. So that, that is what I try to get back into. Switching to Zoom for a question from DNA Sports Talk. John, you have everyone showing up for your dunks and looking forward to seeing you put somebody on a T-shirt. But what aspect of your game do you want the fans and all of us to appreciate? Man, that's tough. Uh, obviously, I love for y'all to appreciate the dunks, as you said. Uh, but I feel like, you know, if anything, I want you guys to appreciate it, just what I bring to the team as a whole, you know, as a leader um, and just as a complete basketball player that plays the right way uh, and it does whatever he can to, to help his teammates win. And as I said before, lead uh, defensively as well. I feel like I'm taking the next step. So. Uh, you know, as, like you said, as fans, keep watching and, and seeing, but I'm going to keep uh, getting better. One more Zoom question from Jamila Johnson. 
Hey guys, congrats on the win. Um, of course, defense is very important in all games, but especially in a game like tonight where you guys shots aren't falling as much, how important was the defense tonight and how you guys stepped up with that? No, it was extremely important. Um, losing one of our defensive anchors, anchors and Dre tonight. So we, I feel like we all understood that we needed to just, you know, come together, um, stay locked in and uh, talk to each other, communicate. Uh, we still have to do. Another Zoom question from Cassidy Hubbard. Hey guys, just a, a kind of macro question here. I mean, you talked about just the, the chemistry between you two, obviously with, with the passes. Um, but as far as like the core group, a lot of you guys got new contracts. What kind of confidence and chemistry has carried over into this season from your playoff run in after, you know, pretty good off season for namely you two as well. Yeah. I mean, it's, I mean, we're definitely, we're early in the process. It's only, it's the third game of the year, um, but it's definitely something I think to start the year, all of us could kind of feel just the, uh, the connection. And, you know, obviously I think it takes a little bit for, for teams to get the flow of the year and, and everybody used to playing with each other, but in some ways we feel like we're one step ahead and we just, obviously we got to tighten some things up, um, getting a lot of guys back from injury, getting everybody on the court, getting a rotation set. And um, you know, we were, you know, we're a really deep team, and that's something that we pride ourselves on being. And uh, that chemistry, obviously, we, a lot of guys played big minutes last year together, but you know, it's still really early in the season. We still got a lot of growing to do. John, I saw you at the uh, Braves the other night. Um, what's uh, what's it, what was it like for you last year going through having the city get behind you, like the city's getting behind the Braves right now? And where do you sort of see the Braves? Uh, how do you size up what the series is going to do? You know. Um, you know, I got to go Braves all the way and, and whenever we, wh whichever way the series goes. Um, but in terms of the fandom for the city, you know, Atlanta is an amazing city to be in when it's playoff time. Uh, you know, you can just see the rush and the fans and, and the excitement from all the, you know, the true um, Atlanta fans, you know, ready to support their team, ready to see us win. Um, you know, I always envision us going down Peachtree um, with the with the Larry O'Brien. So I'm hoping, that, you know, the Braves can do the same as well. Um, Kevin, I know you're a baseball guy. Uh, sorry to ask a non basketball question. Um, but what do you, what do you see for this series? What are your thoughts going into it? I mean, it'll be, I think it'll be a good series. Um, you know, they got to start off well, obviously in Houston with, you know, I think they got Morgan Freed pitching the first two and that's, you know, they get back to Atlanta. Hopefully we can finish things up. I know selfishly, a lot of us hope they get to game five and can close it out so we can be there on Sunday, but. <laughs> Uh, should be a great series. Both teams really good. I think deserve to be there on both sides. So like, like John said, I think the city's hungry for a champion and hopefully the Braves can bring it home. Go Braves, baby. Thank you guys. Oh, thank you guys. Thank y'all.